Hey there, Eartha here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to open your own dropshipping store for free using WordPress, WooCommerce, and a plugin called DropshipMe. And so, to get started, I'm inside of my WordPress dashboard, and if you don't have a WordPress website yet, the first thing you'll want to do is get one. And I recommend getting everything you need here at the web hosting provider that I use and recommend which is hostpapa.com and the reason is that when you choose a WordPress hosting plan you want to go to the hosting tab at the top and then click on WordPress hosting and with one of these WordPress hosting plans they will actually auto install WordPress for you so you don't have to worry about uh, doing it yourself and trying to figure that all out they'll give you a free domain registration and auto install WordPress for you and you don't need uh, the any of the uh, more expensive plans even though really all of their plans are uh, inexpensive but you can just start with the WP starter plan and uh, once you uh, click on get started you, they'll take you through the process of choosing um, you can pick out your domain name uh, fill it in here if you need a domain name they will check for availability. If you already have a domain name, they'll tr go ahead and transfer that over. And then when you hit continue, you'll go through the payment process and they will install WordPress for you on that domain that you've uh, registered with them or transferred over. And then when it's all set up, you will get a confirmation email with all of the details. And then once the, uh, you get that email, you can log in and you will have a WordPress a website just like this and now we'll go ahead and install those plugins so the first plugin that we're going to install is WooCommerce so if you just uh, click on plugins in your dashboard and go to add new and then we can install it right from there so we'll get on over there we'll type in WooCommerce here at the top and it'll search for it And it should be the very first one right here and you can just go ahead and click install now and you can see it's installing take a few more minutes okay after it's done installing you'll see the activate button appears and you go ahead and click on activate and then it will activate that plugin for you. Okay, after uh, the plugin is activated, you'll see this screen here and it says, Welcome to WooCommerce. You're almost ready to start selling. Run the setup wizard or skip setup. And then uh, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to pause the video and go ahead and use the uh, run setup wizard and uh, then we'll take it from there. So this is the first page of the WooCommerce setup wizard. As you can see, I have to fill out uh, some personal information here. But uh, as you go along, it will take you through the rest of these steps to include uh, your payment preferences, shipping, and recommended activate and ready. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, if you're following along, go ahead and do that as well. All right. So as I was going through the uh, setup wizard here, and I'm on the shipping section since we're doing drop shipping i went ahead and just chose free shipping for both of these uh, shipping zones united states and locations not covered and i am not going to need to print shipping labels because we're drop shipping so i'll uncheck that box and we don't have to worry about the rest so i just wanted to point that out uh, in case you get to this section and you're wondering uh, what to do here all right, I'm on the activate portion of the setup wizard. This uh, option is totally up to you if you want to install Jetpack and take advantage of these other features. I'm not going to install Jetpack, but that is totally up to you. I just wanted to point that out as well. Okay, I've reached the end of the setup wizard, so I am not going to uh, create any products or import any products on at this point because we're going to use the dropship me plugin to do that so i'm just going to go back to my dashboard and find a, a woocommerce store theme to install and that'll be the next step 
All right, so I'm back in my uh, WordPress dashboard. And if we take a look at what my website looks like right now, this is just a default WordPress theme and we want a WooCommerce store theme. So I just recommend you can get any WooCommerce store theme that you want, but I'm just going to download their uh, storefront theme and you can access that at WooCommerce.com forward slash storefront. And I'll have a link to that uh, in the video description below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, theme and I'll do all this and go ahead and download it. So uh, you can uh, do that as well if that is the theme that you want to use. All right, so I have the storefront theme uh, downloaded and now I'm going to install it. So I'm back in the dashboard and you want to go to the appearance tab and then click on themes. Now you want to click add new at the top there. And now I'm going to click the upload theme button here and then uh, choose file and my storefront theme is right here in the zip file. I selected it, click open, and then uh, you'll see it there listed and then you can just click install now. All right, the storefront theme is now installed so I can go ahead and click activate from here and it will activate that theme. All right, the theme setup is complete and if I go ahead and go back to my website, it now has a storefront theme installed. If I click on shop, that is where the store will actually be. And of course, right now there are no products. We haven't imported any products, but now I'm going to go to the uh, second plugin that you'll need. It's called Dropship Me. And it's, you can find this at dropship.me.com, uh, sorry, dropship.me. And I'll have that link as well uh, below the video description. And so what this plugin does, it's a free uh, plugin and it already has over 50,000 of the best uh, dropshipping products that are on the AliExpress website. And it enables you to import any of those products into your store. So that's over 50,000 products. So you're sure to find something uh, within your niche to import into your store. And like I said, this plugin is free to use. Uh, they give you 50 products for free to import and that's plenty for a new store. And then of course, if you want to import more products, they do have uh, various packages that you can choose from. And these are all one-time payment with no recurring fees. You pay whichever uh, package that you want to increase the number of products that you want to import. But for the time being, all you would need to do is just get that free version of the plugin. You uh, put in your email address, uh, click the get plugin now button, and they will uh, give you, send you the email and uh, redirect you so you can also download the plugin, which includes a license key and then uh, I'll show you how to do all that. I'm going to go ahead and download this plugin now. All right, so I got the plugin downloaded. I've got the API key or license key. And so now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to my plugin section and I'm going to click add new. And then I'm going to click upload plugin at the top and then I will be able to upload that dropship me plugin and activate it so i'm going to go ahead like the same process as before uh, select the plugin that i'm going to install you see it there dropship me and now i'll just click install now all right dropship me is done installing so i can just go ahead and click the activate plugin button from here Okay, Dropship Me has been activated and now you can find it here in your WordPress dashboard right here, the Dropship Me tab. 
and I'm going to click on activation so I can pop in that API key that they provided. So when you're ready to activate the Dropship Me plugin, all you have to do is paste in that API key that they provided to you right here in this box and then click the activate button. I'm going to do that now. Okay, I activated that license key, the API key, and now I'm still under the Dropship Me section here in my dashboard and all I did was click on import products and then you'll be you'll have a page similar to this and then you can start uh, searching for products within your niche so as you can see the domain name for my store is stay dry have fun and it's just uh, waterproof gear any type of waterproof gear so I'm just going to type in waterproof and see what kind of products come up here and you can see there's a, a various products that I can choose from. The first one is a waterproof nylon backpack, a waterproof diaper set, waterproof wireless shower Bluetooth speaker. And the great thing about all of these products is that they've already been chosen and, you know, picked out as the, uh, some of the best selling products on AliExpress. They've already uh, edited the titles for you. They've already edited the descriptions, the images. And so you really don't have to do any extra work besides actually uh, importing the products to your store. And so I'm just gonna demonstrate how uh, to import products. Now, if I wanted more information about this backpack, I could just click on the title and it will like pull up the uh, description and everything else uh, related to it. So you can see here the images, uh, the various colors that will be imported. Here's the description that you, you know, they've already written this out for you. Uh, they've already uh, totaled the pricing, the prices for you. So you can see the supplier's price is $13.77 and their recommended price is $27.54 and your profit would be $13.77. You see that it has great ratings, 4.8 out of uh, over 1,600 orders. So this is an excellent product that I would want to import into my store. So I'm going to go ahead and just click the import button and let it start importing and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, the product import is complete. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, inside of the store. All right, so what I noticed is that uh, after you import a product with the Dropship Me plugin, uh, it is imp imported and I'm under Wo the WooCommerce tab now in the dashboard and I'm inside of products and it's showing this product as a draft. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that to uh, published, I guess, and then it will show up in the store. All right, it's all there. I'm going to click publish. All right, so the product is published now. And then if I go back to my uh, shop page and you can see that it is posted right here, which is awesome. And so uh, you can continue to use the Dropship Me plugin and import as many products as you are uh, able to with the plan that you have. Again, if you're using the free plan, then you get 50 product imports. And then of course you can uh, upgrade within uh, the plugin area. It will let you uh, upgrade and you can then, once you upgrade, you're able to import um, more products that way. But that's awesome. So that is how you can create your own free dropshipping store using uh, all free tools. Uh, WordPress is free. Uh, uh, WooCommerce is free and Dropship Me plugin is free. Of course, the only thing you'd really be paying for is your uh, payment gateway providers, depending if you're using Stripe or whatever else is offered uh, for WooCommerce, and as well as your hosting. Uh, and again, I recommend using Host Papa because they make it super simple to get your WordPress website and they'll auto install it for you and give you a free domain name. So really can't beat that. They have 24 seven customer support as well. And so I'll have a link to that below the video. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, 
to for you to start your own drop shipping store one thing to keep in mind though is that uh, when people do place orders on your store uh, you won't have any automated features you will have to uh, manually process those orders so if you want to automate your store in the future, I do recommend the Ollie Dropship plugin. And you can get that at ollydropship.com. It works with the Dropship Me plugin because they are the creators of that plugin. And so when you're ready to uh, grow your business and actually automate a lot of those features, you can grab this plugin and the difference between Ali Dropship and Dropship Me is that Ali Dropship auto automates uh, order fulfillment. They'll automatically send tracking IDs to your customer. And so it just has a lot, a ton of features and it works great with WooCommerce. They have a WooCommerce version. When you buy this plugin, you get both the uh, regular version of the plugin and the WooCommerce version. And it works hand in hand with Dropship Me. So you can continue to import uh, products that way. You can also import an unlimited number of products with uh, the Ali Dropship plugin. So that is an option for you as well. And I'll have a link to that as well in the uh, description. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this has helped. Please subscribe as I create more videos related to starting online businesses. Thank you so much and talk soon.